high definition. This is KCAL 9 News at noon. Mark, thank you for that. Hot weather means that a lot of us are cranking up the air conditioner, but there are some things that you could do in your home to keep your costs down. Yeah, a lot of people trying to save money and stay cool. We're joined now by David Silverman. He is owner of Mr. Handyman in West Los Angeles, and you have some really great advice for us, and you brought some stuff to show us, too. I do. I brought a uh, programmable thermostat. This is probably my, my favorite tip for how to keep your energy bill down in the summer. Um, they also work in the winter, too, on the same principle, which is they do what they say they're going to do. They, you program it to work when you're home and not when you're not. So they cost about uh, $100, and um, they take less than an hour to install. They come with instructions. You can put them in yourself, or you could call us, and we could put it in for you if you're afraid to deal with electric. But they're not hard to do. Um, and uh, you can save up to about $200 a year with one of these. So you pay for it in the same year that you put it in. Um, most people, have, if they have a newer home, probably have one and never use it. They don't know how to use it. That's my story. They're not that hard to program. We could help <laughs> you with that if, we, if we're in your house doing something else. But, yes, you're right. You're taking the time to do it is what saves you the money. Yeah. For every degree that you turn this down, you save about 3% in your energy bill. So you can wind up saving you know, a third of your energy costs if you program it smartly. And that m means you can walk into the house when you come home at the end of the day. The house is going to be cool because you programmed it to cool off just a few minutes before you get home. Absolutely. Set it for maybe a half an hour before you come home. Conversely, in the winter, when it gets cold out, set it to heat up a little bit before you come home, and then you haven't paid to heat or cool your house when you're not there. My next tip is, um, is actually the cunning use of fans, which can save money, actually prevent you from needing your air conditioning, even if you have it already. Um, there are a couple different kinds of fans. A whole house fan is a fan that gets mounted in your ceiling, pulls the air through the house, cooler, fresher air comes in through the house, goes up right into the attic. If you have good ventilation in the attic, the hot air gets expelled out through those vents there, and then your whole house can be cooled off with these whole house fans. They're, they're made them recently where they're quieter, they're more efficient, so they're energy efficient. And that's a great way to cool your house without using your air conditioning. And that actually goes in the attic, is that right? The, the fan gets mounted in the ceiling okay. and pulls the air through the house, through the windows, and sends it up into the... Or you can also mount them in the gables of the house. Uh, then they're a little quieter because they're a little further away from the, from the ceiling. How much does something like that cost if you, if you don't have one now? Uh, the fans run anywhere from 200 to 400 for the actual fans, and then it takes about maybe four to six hours to install them. They're also a, li they're a little trickier because you've got to build the frame around that part of the ceiling where you put them in, but we can do it for you or you can try to do it on your own. They're, they're great. Um, another kind of fan is just an attic fan. They make those in solar now, so you don't have to pay anything for the energy to run them. Oh, you interesting. Just, you, those you mount right on the roof, um, and energy from the sun will make them run. They have thermostats built into them, so when the temperature in there gets up to, say, 80 degrees, it'll kick on. And those are important, too, not just to cool your house, but because in the summer, the heat can get up to 160, 180 degrees in your attic. Wow. And it will extend the life of your roof if you get that hot air out of there and don't, don't let it bake like it, like it bakes us. You've you also got some simple things there, some insulation foam, is that what it yeah, is? Yeah, this is a little easier. This is called weather stripping, and this can get put around your doors and windows. If you have a, a crack around your window, around a door that's not sealed, even if it's as thin as an eighth of an inch, if you add up the surface area of that eighth of an inch all the way around your door, it's equal to the size of a, a hole, the size of a brick in your wall and you're just pouring money right out the door, cold air is just flowing out there or hot air flowing in. So if you have three or four doors in your house, getting something like this, this is peel and stick, easy to do on your own, pop it in there. It prevents the cold air from getting out in the summer, the hot air from getting out in the winter. And these are a similar kind of thing. They're made in the shape of the outlets. They're called oh, switch okay. plate covers. So you just unscrew the switch plate. Again, you can do this on your own. It takes about five minutes. Unscrew the switch plate, drop this in behind it. It pokes out, the hole pokes out for where the outlet would be. Oh. And then that keeps the cold air. Any exterior wall outlet, which is allowing air to come in and out, oh. can be sealed up with these two. Wow, that's some place you don't think of is, uh, is electrical outlets. Also, you talk about the shades and blinds, uh, getting that radiant Another heat more, more obvious tip is to make sure if you have windows that aren't covered, obviously putting shades or blinds down will block the sun from coming in. If you don't have screens on your windows, they, you know, even those little screens can block enough energy to come in to make your house more energy efficient and not heat up so much in this kind of heat. And you want to make sure things are clean, including your roof and some of the vents in the attic. Absolutely. Make sure, go up in your attic, look around, make sure the vents are clear so that you can, so the hot air will be venting outward. Even the attic fan I mentioned, the solar attic fan, although it's designed to keep your attic cool, 
since hot air rises, once that hot air is vented out, your house will cool off a little bit too. And then we always hear about insulation in the walls, certainly if you're building a new house. Absolutely. Insulation is key. It's a bit more of a, of a longer process to put it in. It's a bigger deal to do, but it can be done and it will also save lots of money. Absolutely should be done. And that's Good. something you can add even after the house is built. Absolutely. A lot of people don't have insulation in their ceiling, even if they have it in the walls, and that's a really a great thing. If you're paying to cool the air in your house, but you don't have any insulation in your ceiling, the cold air is just, you know, the hot air is going to rise and you're going to lose all that you're working for with the air conditioning that you're, you're spending yeah. for. So We think about a lot of these things during the winter time to keep it warm, but it works in reverse. They work now. both ways. Insulation yeah. is great in the winter and great in the summer. Very right. good. David Silverman, thank you so much. Thanks for having me. It. Thanks, Thanks for being here. Mr. Handyman. All right, if you want to get in touch with David's branch of Mr. Handyman or to find a location near you, just go to our website. It's kcount9.com. Click Scene on TV. Thanks. Other news this afternoon.